Right. I'm at um, East Sheen and Richmond Cemetery in London and um, I finally found the grave of the first grave I'm looking for today is of Thomas Henry Barbary who passed away July the 28th 1926 aged 61 gone but not forgotten and also his wife Selina she died November the 15th <clears throat> age 63 um, I'll just try and see if I can see her oh 1928 yeah but apparently um, it's quite likely that the Ifrakum lot didn't know anything about this about where their graves located or anything and um, so I had to go in the office because I forgot to bring the grave numbers I passed I must have passed this I had a over there's a bench and I had my pasty on that bench and I wandered around a bit. I walked sort of past here. I just didn't expect to see such a a nice grave as it would have been. Um, obviously, it's been laid down for health and safety reasons. Typical, isn't it? This is, of course, Alfred Edwards' brother, Thomas Henry. And um, there are other brothers. Thomas's brother Alfred saw his great grandfather's buried in a common grave I think or in with other people because apparently um, the grave hadn't been paid for um, it was unpaid for so he had to go in with others because um, it's I mean he was living in Portsmouth and then he he'd gone back to Richmond where he had stayed as a young man they'd moved away from Ifracoon and it sounds like the African lot didn't even know they existed properly. But anyway, that's Thomas Henry Barbary. I'm now going to try and find um, Alfred now. So it's in a nice setting, some lovely trees. Old cedar, whatever they are. What cedar, I don't think. Oh, I don't, it might be. Yeah. And it's um, a lovely sunny day, so I came up on the coach this morning. I haven't got a lot of time because by the time I got here, I've been taking pictures all the way en route. I also went to, um, found the laundrette where they once worked and owned and run, I think, back in the late 18th century. Let's take some other unusual gravestones that we've got here as well. There's probably more of them here. They were very helpful in the office. They actually gave me a breakdown of each section of the graveyard into little pieces. Um, but even then, it's not dead easy to find. Right, <clears throat> so there we go. There's a little chapel there. Um, East Sheen and Richmond cemeteries are now under one authority. They used to be separate in the past. So somewhere, I've just got to look for a... Grave number now, and Alfred will be in there. So that's the end of this part of the video. Till I found the grave. It might not even have his name on it. Oh, another thing they pointed out. They, they couldn't understand how Thomas Barber and his wife would, would have been on the front row. I don't know what they meant by that, but it could be that they had some money. They died years before, 20 odd years before Alfred anyway. And um, he probably just felt like home coming here, as opposed to Ifracoom. Came back to die in this place. And he might have lived in one of the, there's several arms houses. So I took a picture of some of them. He talks in the phone book about being in the cottages, Sheen Cottages. Right, so anyway, let's turn off for now. Right, I think 
and they've come to another part of the graveyard which is more complicated and I'd never have found this if I hadn't gone into the office I've had to count along on the rows on here I'm standing here on the end is Mary Isabel Chitty wife of Thomas of Edward Thomas her grave white marble with green marble stones is on the end which is um, 3964 no, 3967. And then if I go back, there's, um, then we've got 68, 69, and 70. Alright, so it's, um, that one's, uh, 67. Was that 67 or 69? Yeah, that's 67. Then we go back to 68. Six nine, and when I get in line with seven, these two, I follow back about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but eleven places back. I should come to another Barbary grave, which would be lying like that. So what I'm going to do is just go sideways a bit, so I can't miss the names. I might not necessarily have a grave there. So we've just got to keep an eyes out. See that? Look at there's a space there. Look, it could easily be in this space. But I've got the grave number. The grave number on this one is S three eight. I don't know if that's nine eight three. I don't know, not very clear, are they? What's this one? Three nine o oh, six. Three nine. How can that be three nine o oh, six? Where's that? The three nine o oh, four. Oh yeah, 3906. We're going the right direction, but there are gaps. There are gaps. I don't know if I'm going the right way. If I get, I'm not looking at them. See, so this gap here, this whole patch could have been of people that didn't have any wealth. We'll soon find out when we find out what the number of this stone is. If we've gone past it, then we know he is also a man without a stone. There, there's a number there. He's three eight. Oh, that's three eight three six. They're not actually in order. Three, eight, three, six. They're very hickety pickety. Is there? Is there around here somewhere? Could this be it? Also, memory of wife of above. Yeah, it ain't him. I bet you anything that's been removed, that stone. Who's this here? Still looking. I think we've probably gone past it. So I'm just going to turn the video off a minute. It'd be handy if I could find the numbers that corresponded properly. So you mustn't be disappointed. This is the sort of thing that does happen. It does happen.
he's supposed to be somewhere the thing is with me I get my bearings wrong sometimes <sighs> if I go over let me go over on the path a minute I go over on the path and follow back the other way Right, so I'm on the path. I want three, eight, eight, six. Three, eight, eight, six, I want. That's three, eight, one, four. See, I don't you? That's three, eight, one, four. So I've got to go further up. That'd be three. Eight three two three eight three 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 eight fifty three eight fifty one three eight sixty eight three eight sixty nine and three eight eight six and if we go behind three eight eight six we've got three eight eight five what should be that one Three eight eight four it should be that one. We've got one there with the stone flat and behind sadly there's no grave. This is where young Barbary boy, the younger brother of Thomas and Alfred. Um, Frederick George Barbary, that's right, he was only 26 years old when he died. It's down to zero for reference. So, this space here. This space is where that young, that young man, Frederick, is behind that grave there. Behind who? He's about, in theory, he's here where I'm standing. Here. So where I'm, so where Sheila's standing is where Frederick Barbary would be. Okay, where I'm standing, he would be here, but he's got no stone. Because it was um, it's either an unpaid grave or something strange. So, there you have it. We've got two brothers. We've got no stone, but it's worthwhile coming to see anyway. Because we have to know, at least we know where he is. And he's roughly behind someone called, in loving memory of our dear mother, somebody, oh, Louisa, I don't know, could be Emma or something like that, Parrot. And the one next door in loving memory of Emma West who passed away January the 10th 19 something or other age 68 years so he's behind a parrot and uh, Emma West the one 
that one you can't read to see that see that there that could actually be the stone that could be a barbary stone for all we know and it's just been flopped over like that there's also a barnet who died in 1910 and a mary hose this is the row so it's empty um and then we've got a Mary Cumberland in the same row. So that's it, folks. That's the end of the little trip. I better take a photograph as well, over and out. Right, this is really quite sad, you know. <clears throat> He's not only in a grave with others, but and it's on a front row, which apparently has you know, some importance if you're on the front row. Um, but his brother's down there, just the other side of that big fir tree there. And then we get to the row where he's supposed to be on the other end of here, just past that car. We've got five, nine, six, and it's in worse condition than that patch here, look. There's a patch, probably had somebody in it once. And um, it's all where the workmen sit outside in their hut. You know, it's all tatty um, and, and scruffy because where everybody drives over that bit. It's quite sad, and that's her great grandfather. That nobody remembered. He had to go in with others, which isn't unusual, but in 1950. There's not even a stone to remember him. Look, there's a bit good Alfred Cookie. He died in 1956, age 71. That's his nearest neighbour, the visible grave. We've got a little sad old little stone there. And according to the records, which is here, H block. This is his patch. Where I'm standing, the cars reverse. He's under here, Sarah. Sad, isn't it? And he died in 1950 and forgotten already. Well, we haven't forgotten you, Alfred. We never knew you existed a couple of years ago. Well, we didn't know your name or anything. Just like my dad. Buried in no record. Oh, There's a little bench, though. It's sad, isn't it? Something ought to be done. There's very, it is a very nice graveyard though, very well kept, and Thomas has got a nice plot I suppose, but stone has been um, put down in, poor Alfred, he's over there all on his own, on it. Well, at least he's got a busy part of the graveyard I suppose you could call it. Busy part. There's a few under here. Right, over next. Right then. Here's the chapel in East Sh um, Sheen Richmond Cemetery. I'm going now to the archives at Kew. I might get an hour there. It's really just today is like a recce day, really. Anyway, it's a nice little cemetery. When I'd walked past here earlier today, I was so busy looking over there, looking there. I can remember even. I must have gone straight past that one because I can remember sort of going 
I think that white stone distracted me. I remember going over here, looking like this, coming back, and I've totally bypassed this one the first time. And there it is all the time. Thomas Barbary born in Ifracombe. And they'll soon know about it down there. I didn't have to do any cleaning. Should I say that? I didn't have to do any weeding. Yes, but that says in love in memory of my, my dear husband, Thomas Henry Barbary. And then Selena afterwards. I mean, unless somebody like us repairs that grave, there ain't no one else that would, I don't suppose. Unless they do that down in Ifracombe. Right. So there we go. I pull away in the distance because I don't know if I'll, unless I come back with Zara. I don't know if I'll ever come back again, unless we find any others in here. Two sad unmarked graves. 1950 isn't that long ago and he's got nothing for it to show that he was ever on this earth. That's what happens to some people. Look at that, I wonder if that'll still be around in 20 years time. Right, well this is Sheila in the East Sheen Cemetery, now leaving to go and find the new family record place. Just doing a little bit of video. the record and lovely bushes that have been pruned here lovely bushes see some people lopsided though so Thomas Barbary got position in the front row well yes he might have made a little business out of himself at the time and you know 1826 this cemetery would have been new newish so he was able to get himself a place who's that there George William Lancaster whoever he was big sculpture to him anyway could have been a sculpture, couldn't he? It's just an example of the difference between some people who are remembered. And the likes of the rest of us. At least I've been here. We found one grave. We know that they're buried there. One day all these stones will be gone. There's one there. One. Some smiths there. You never know. A relative for all you know so you never know more smiths london and southwestern railway memory of william smith first chairman that's what that was ours well that's hundreds of graves i'd have a field day if i lived up here Once they've got it all online, 
be so much easier when I've had to come here. Like it. See, that's a Greek, Greeky looking one, isn't it? There's the little offices. I'm now going to walk back down into Richmond. You'll get a bit of feel for the place when you walk. I'll do that on a separate video because I need to go to the ladies. Nice little house. And that's the end of that.